Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Mari. I want to monitor it imported. <laughs> okay, great way to start a video. All right, you're not at work. You're sitting in your home. Let's redo that again. Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Brother Mario. I am an Apostolic Pentecostal, and in today's video, I am going to be giving a life update on where in the world have I been. All right, so uh, where in the world have I been? It's been a very, very long time uh, since I've uploaded a video, but you know, I actually do have a, a couple of uh, logical and specific reasons I actually wanted to share with you today on why I haven't uploaded in such a long time. So first and foremost, uh, the biggest news I have to share for you is I end up getting married. And if you are a subscriber or you have seen the video, uh, Three Apostolic Tips for Unmarried Couples, um, the beautiful um, woman in that video uh, happens to now be my wife, proudly call her my wife. So super excited about that. It was definitely a, a divine order, you know, that God had in store for us. It wasn't the easiest uh, of relationships um, to endure because you know, almost two years, we're long distance. She lived in a completely different state. I lived here in Tennessee. And, uh, you know, it, it comes with its struggles, but it was most definitely worth it to uh, finally make the decision together. And uh, we've been we're, we've been married now for a little less than a month. Um, time, by, time goes by so fast. It feels like, feel like we just got married yesterday. And I know what everyone's gonna say. Well, you've only been married, you know, three or four weeks. But when you get to that point, you'll understand. I feel like you're gonna understand. What else? I mean, I got a new job. Obviously, I'm in a new home. So quite literally, everything changed in my life. But I kind of want to give a reason of why I stopped YouTube and um, everything and kind of put life on pause. Um, I, what I found myself was I was investing time into the things that really didn't matter. I mean, I wasn't putting enough time with my relationship with God. I wasn't putting enough time with my local congregation. I wasn't putting enough time, you know, in my girlfriend. I was just, I was putting time in, in all these other things that, again, really didn't matter. Uh, one of them happened to be YouTube. Another one for me is social media. I was so engulfed in, in Instagram and Facebook and kind of building this platform, you know, after being inspired by another apostolic YouTuber. Um, to, you know, to put on apostolic content, I just felt like this is what I need to dive into and put all my time into. And, and it really did suck all my time that in retrospect, um, that severely declined my spiritual life, severely, you know, pulled me away from God, almost pulled me away from my girlfriend. So much things happened. So um, I did make the radical decision to, to quit social media completely. Uh, I have no Facebook, no Instagram, no Visco, no WhatsApp. I have no Twitter. I have absolutely no social media. And I did delete, delete the accounts. It's not like this is a postponed thing. Like I was going, I was so desperate to make a change to make sure I don't lose my relationship with God. I don't lose my uh, connection with my local congregation, to not lose the connection with my soon to be future wife that I quit it all. And it was quite honestly one of the best decisions I ever made. Um, I, I feel free, I don't feel consumed in, in, in all those things. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but for me personally, I had a very addictive personality and it, it, it weakened me a lot, a, a lot. And there'll be future videos to kind of explain that when God you know, reveals the correct words to me. But I, I, I realized that, especially with YouTube and social media and just kind of ministering there, I wanted to just be busy. And I felt like that's where I was at. I was, I was too, too busy. And if you read in the title, you know, the struggle of doing too much, that was me. I was the epitome. I was the prime example of what being too busy looked like. I was doing YouTube videos, I was posting on social media, I was ministering, you know, everything like that. I built new Instagram accounts. I was leading worship. I was teaching Bible studies. I was leader of the, the, the young people um, in my church. I, and I was just everywhere and not really doing anything. And 
it brought me, and I had this conversation with my wife, you know, just a couple nights ago, of a parable that I've heard, and you all are probably familiar with it, and it has to do with the young man and the old man chopping trees. And so the young man proposes a challenge to the old man. He says, old man, I'm younger, I'm stronger, I won't get tired as you. I'll chop down these 10 trees faster than you. And so the old man takes up the prop. He says, okay, let's see you do it. So young man gets started. He gets up earlier than the old man. And he, he starts chopping trees and he gets and he chops a couple trees down. And so he goes back and see what the old man's doing. The old man's just sitting there and he's sharpening his ax. He's sharpening his blade. And so young man laughs at him and he's just like, "There's oh, I've got this in the bag. There's no way you're going to win. The old man just keeps sharpening. So he comes and he chops some more, ch chops a couple more trees and comes back and see the old man is still sharpening. And he's just like, I mean, are you gonna do something? Like there's no way that you're gonna win now. There's gonna be a piece of cake. So he, he chops a couple of more and so he's got a couple left and he comes back to the old man and the old man has chopped all 10 trees. And the young man comes back tired and, and he's frustrated. He's, he just can't wrap his mind on how he was able to lose to the old man. And so he asked the old man, how in the world were you able to cut all 10 trees faster than me? I got up earlier than you. I started earlier. I, I know I worked harder and faster than you. How'd you do it? And the old man responds with this simple answer. He says, it's really hard to cut a tree with a dull blade. And that's how I felt like I was. I wanted to be busy doing everything and, you know, just as long as I was active in, in the work of God, I was doing something. But I found out I had a very dull blade. I wasn't being effective anywhere. I mean, really, I wasn't effective here on YouTube, wasn't here effective on social media, wasn't here effective in my ministry and music. I was effective nowhere. And so after talking with my spiritual leaders about it, you know, they revealed to me that you know, I, I had a very dull blade, you know, to kind of put it, to, to relate it to the parable, I had a dull blade. I was spiritually weak, so I needed to be pulled back from all that. And so I quite literally gave it everything up. And I just focused on the one thing that I knew I was called to do, and that was to play the piano. And I just focused all my energy into that. I got rid of all social media, and I just focused on my relationship with God intensely. I focused on my relationship with my girlfriend, who is soon to be my wife, and I just focused on that ministry. And I feel now stronger than ever before. I feel spiritually sound with the decisions that I made. And so I can look back a year from now, or I can look back a year ago and realize all those small decisions I was making, starting to give up the things that didn't matter, end up paying off. You know, I, I, I feel like the, the ministry we're doing in our church right now is, is stronger than before in the music. Um, we, just, we just experienced a great miracle. We actually got to purchase our, our own building. Um, and there'll be a, a whole separate video just on that, just to understand what the miracle was. Um, so many great things are happening now that I feel like I can come back and just put some things out there and just kind of explain, you know, that if you're watching this video, this video could be for you. You could be who I was, you know, a couple months ago, a year ago, who's just has the mindset that if I'm just busy, I'm, I'm definitely being effective, but that's not always the case. Sometimes God's gonna, sometimes you need to pull yourself away from some things and focus on the one small thing that God's called you to do in that season and to work on. And for some people, it could be pride. It could be a jealousy thing. It could be they need to work on patience. It could mean to be to work on their prayer life. I don't know what that area is, but for me, it was a lot of areas that I needed to work on. But most importantly, it was cutting away all the noise and just focusing on the things that mattered. And I mean, was it worth it? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, mean, I wouldn't take it, wouldn't take it back. I don't, I don't find myself going back to social media at all. Uh, I, I'm just satisfied with me and my wife. We have our, again, our new home. Uh, I'm, I'm in a new studio space now, which is crazy to think I can actually call this my studio. No longer just in my bedroom. I can just turn on, pop the lights, and, and, and bada boom, bada bang. We are back in business. And, uh, you know, I, I've just been, I've just been stepping back for a season. And, and all I'm doing is just sharpening that blade just sharpening that blade and and now I got my wife with me and eventually you know we just want to we want to become a sharp and effective uh, soul winner for Jesus 
and instead of trying to trying to win souls with a with a dull blade i mean that's that's the idea and uh, god's going to do great and amazing things i know he's going to put me back into those positions or maybe open up a new ministry for me but i'm happy with that i i really am and i encourage you that if you are struggling with that seek your spiritual leaders seek your pastor and really ask like am i doing too much what do i need to take out and through the word you know he'll reveal that to you and so in first corinthians um, it's slipping my mind but it paul talks about there are administrations there are powers and there are uh, works of the lord specific but everyone but it all comes from the same spirit there's a reason why there's one pastor called to a congregation there's a reason why there's several musicians called to lead a congregation there's a reason why there's ministers called greeters called they're all working under the same spirit but if the greeter decides to do the job of the pastor it becomes ineffective there's there's disorder just like our body if if all of a sudden my hands wanted to walk all right they just wouldn't work the feet are meant there to do that job. If my eyes all of a sudden wanted to hear, it wouldn't work. If my ears all of a sudden wanted to see, it just doesn't work. And so be content with just doing one small part in the kingdom of God. And don't worry about ever trying to receive any of the honor and the glory, because first of all, that's not yours to take. But secondly, just step back and just watch the beauty. Wow, I now understand why everything works the way it works. And just be happy with that. And uh, if that's what God's called you to do, enjoy it. And, and you keep doing that, living a holy life, get baptized in Jesus' name, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You know, you're following the small and narrow path that leads to heaven. And that's ultimately um, all of our goals here. So anyways, look forward to updating. Definitely want to show you all the new place. And uh, anyways, uh, my name is Brother Mario. I hope you have a blessed day and uh, God bless you.